Guys, I, ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I did something I shouldn't have done. I'm sorry, please, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, I was at the gun store, and the lady behind the counter was very controlling. She was very upsetting, and I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to at all, and I, I know I need help. I know I need help, but she, she, Push me and push me and push me. I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no. I had to do it. I, 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 felt, I felt like I didn't have a choice. I didn't have a choice. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She made me do it. She, she made me do it. She made me do it. I had to buy it. She, she made me do it. You have no idea. I didn't have a choice. You think Shauna would buy that? You think she would buy that like if I if that's how I sell it to her that I bought a gun? You think she'd buy it? I know. I know I need help. But it would it would it work? Please let me know in the comments below. Did I sell it enough? Or am I screwed? Yeah, I don't know. I need help though regardless. But thanks for listening. Welcome back to the channel. As always, my name is James and I appreciate you tuning in. The channel has been going crazy lately, doing phenomenal things, and I owe it all to you guys. So thank you very much. I love you all very much. And first, hey, first and foremost, Merry Christmas. So today, I'm going to lay some groundwork for you today. So I went to the gun store. I won't say the name, but you know who you are. Went to the gun store, and I went there to look for specifically for a 686. And I go to this gun store all the time. It's like family to me. So they know I love them. Great people, great family. If you need to know that information, I can, I can tell you. But I go to this gun store and I go to buy a Smith & Wesson 686. My mind is made up, that's what I'm getting because a long time ago, long time ago, I'll just leave it at that. I took a class and we shot uh, Smith & Wesson 686s and it was just, it was one of those deals that, man, one of these days I want to get one just to, just to have it back with my, in my, in my, my collection. I get there and I'm looking at this 686 and it's beautiful. It's a, it's a Jerry Mitchellick type one and it was very phenomenal, very fast. Whew. Man, it's beautiful. And then the sly, sly girl here takes off from the counter and puts up this, this revolver here. And I'm like, what? I'm looking back and forth, looking back and forth. And before you know it, I take that Smith & Wesson and slide to the side. And then, but you're like, what does she hand out? What does she bring out? You can't, you can't bring a cold python and put it on the counter and expect me not to drool. Not to expect me to look at it and go, oh my god. Like, that 686, it was pretty, it was good, and nothing wrong with Smith & Wesson. I have some Smith & Wesson pistols, I have a couple, but a cold python? I mean, come on, seriously? Seriously, you did that on purpose? <sighs> but it's okay. She's a hell of a saleswoman. And she's a hell of a saleswoman, and she knows it, and she gets me every dang time. That's why Shauna says, don't go in there, but I can't help myself. <sighs> Bring it together, James. Keep your shit together. Anyways, so this with pistol. When you go, what is up with this, this the Colt Python? Man, if you don't know, you need to know. This gun is just so much nostalgia. Now, growing up, growing up, 
I grew up watching Clint Eastwood, Dirty Harry, all that stuff. Now you, you're telling me you doing Dirty Harry? He, he had a revolver. He also had a 44 auto mag, but he usually carried on the revolver with 44 Magnum. And he wrote, he wrote, yeah, anyways, I was not referencing, but I'm not going to. He he shot the 44 Magnum, and this is a three a Colt Python and 357 mag. And man, it's just to me, that's what I think about when I think about. Are you lucky? Do you feel lucky, punk? Anyways, this, this, oh my gosh, there's so much nostalgia when he goes in this pistol. Number one, Colt is probably the finest revolver, the finest pistol makers out there. And I finally got myself a Colt. And not only a Colt, it's a Colt Python. Um, they stopped making, I believe, the Colt Pythons and in the early 2000s, I want to say it's 2003 or 2005. I'm not real sure. I'm sure someone on here will comment, on, and it's fine. Feel free. Um, and then, and back in 2020, they they uh, we had to mention 2020. 2020 was not a good year for anybody in America. Anybody, Colt, Colt included. And they they came out with them, and and they they had some mixed reviews. I know there were some people that had issues with them. And Colt actually fixed those issues. And you're talking about 2022, this Colt Python. It shoots amazing, as you can see. I did took it back to 30 yards, shot phenomenal. It's just it, the, the side alignment, and, and back when I took the class a long time ago, they said you're gonna find yourself shooting better with a revolver than you will with a semi. With, in the time it was Glock 17s, we we they said you're gonna find yourself shooting better with a revolver. And some of y'all go, oh, it's a Glock. Well, it's whatever. So the, and, and and I'm not gonna lie, the revolver shoots amazing, and this gun is no exception. You shoot phenomenal, like it shoots amazing. And then watch watch this reload I did. It's super fast. And Jerry Mitchell is going to be so jealous. Oh, it's cool. uh. <laughs> Super fast. Super fast. Am I missing one? There we go. Jerry Butchelek, eat your heart out. All right, fine, it wasn't that fast, but it was really cold. I mean, it's a work in progress, guys. I just got it. Give me some time. But anyways, man, if y'all haven't shot this, if you haven't even held it in your hand, what I will say is this, is it's a 38 Special, it will shoot 38 Special. Uh, it's way less kick than a 357 Magnum, I can tell you that much, but regardless, I shot them both today and they both shoot great. What I will say is that the hand, the hangout is pretty as it is. This little bit of decorative stuff here doesn't really give you any grip. If you're used to shooting your pistols with your added uh, sandpaper, with your added stipling, yeah, this is not for you. It, it's, um, it does fit nice in my hand. It, it, it shoots good, it, it feels amazing. It is just a phenomenal piece of work. And I am very fortunate to, to, to have this in my collection. Ah. Let's still mention to Shauna though. I, she doesn't watch my channel anyway, so it's fine. But we're about to test that theory. <laughs> but anyways, um, man, you're talking about a piece of work that is just phenomenal. The quality is amazing. And I absolutely love this gun. Uh, I, I don't have anything negative to say. And if you want to count the the lack of the stifling, but I mean, it's what it is. It's a Colt Python. This is what it's supposed to be. It it just the I man when you hold it, it just feels great. I don't have anything bad to say. But I'll say this: Thank you, Colt. Thank you for making my day. I love you guys. Thank you for watching this episode, and, and hopefully this was help. I, all I can tell you is it shoots great. It's a phenomenal gun. If you haven't shot one already, give it a shot. 
Anyways, thank you for watching. Check out the notifications box below, and I love you guys. See you next time.